In this lecture, we are going to see how we can hack Wi-Fi networks over Windows. Most of the beginners are shy of Kali Linux and other Linux distribution environments, and they like to work on Windows. So, in this lesson, we will see how we can hack wireless networks while remaining on Windows. We are going to use ComView for Wi-Fi for this tutorial. ComView for Wi-Fi is a tool that is used for monitoring wireless 802.11 networks. To use this product, you must have a compatible wireless adopter. And you can find the list of compatible wireless adopters on the official website. But remember that this tool is not free and it costs approximately 500 bucks. We are going to use the trial version that is available for 30 days only. Now the first step is to download ComView for Wi-Fi tool from the official website. Once downloaded, extract the downloaded file and install it by running the setup. Once installed, the driver configuration page will automatically appear. You must have a compatible wireless adopter for ComView for Wi-Fi. If your Wi-Fi adopter is supported, it will be shown. Now we need to install the driver. Just install the compatible driver. Once the adopter is installed, ComView will exit and restart. Once the ComView starts again, click the play button. Now you need to note down the channel number that your target network is using. Just stop the capture and on the right hand pane select the target channel and start the capture again. If your Wi-Fi card supports injection, go to Tools and perform Node Reassociation Attack. This attack will disconnect all connected devices from the target access point and once they reconnect it will help capture handshake. Now let ComView run for a few minutes. And then stop the capture and save the capture as cap file. Now we need to convert this cap file to hashcat file format. Just visit the official website and convert your file to the hashcat format. Once converted, just paste the converted file in hashcat folder. Now you must be having hashcat and your OQ dictionary already available from cracking with hashcat tutorial that we have already covered. You can download Hashcat and the RawQ dictionary from the given links. Now open the PowerShell while remaining in Hashcat folder and then use this command to crack the handshake. 822000 tells the Hashcat that its Wi Fi password that is to be cracked. Crack.txt will store our cracked passwords. Hash.hc22000 is our source file and RawQ.txt is the dictionary file. Once the password is cracked, you can check the password by opening crack.txt file in the hashcat folder. Now let's move over to the practical demonstration. First of all, search for ComView for Wi-Fi tool. The first link will be the official ComView for Wi-Fi website. Just open the website. And here you can see all compatible adopters that are supported by the tool. It's better that you have a compatible wireless card, otherwise some functions like packet injection may not work. Now go to the download page. Look for ComView for Wi-Fi. Click on download. And select download com view for Wi-Fi. The downloading will start automatically. Now you can go to com view for Wi-Fi purchase page. 
and you can see that comview for wi-fi is available for 500 bucks and if you are interested in wife version it's around 1000 bucks and it is also available as a subscription plan as well for 200 bucks per year Once downloaded, extract the downloaded file. Open the extracted folder and run the setup. Just follow the instructions as are shown on the screen. And it will start installing. Now once the setup is complete, click finish. After some time, driver installation guide will open automatically. Here you need to select your wireless adopter driver. I have Railink wireless card so I am selecting that. Just click configure and click close. Comview for Wi-Fi will automatically shut down and you need to run it again. Once opened, click the play button and you can see that in trial version you can capture packets only for 5 minutes. Now note down your target network and its channel. Here home is our target which is working on channel 6. Now stop the capture and select channel number 6 from the right hand side pane and click the play button again. Now you can see that it is capturing packets on channel 6 only. You can also see the list of connected clients with our access point. If your device supports packet injection, you can go to tools and select node to the association attack. No, my device doesn't support it. So we are going to wait till a new client reconnects or connects to our home network. Now after some time, just stop the capture and save the capture file in the cap format. Now go to Google and search for cap to hashcat file format convert. Upload your file and click convert. Once your file is converted, just download it. Now for this tutorial, you must have Hashcat already installed and RawQ dictionary available in your Hashcat folder. Now copy this converted file into the Hashcat directory. Now open the PowerShell in the Hashcat directory and run this command as shown on the screen.
Here you do not need to specify D2 and D3 flag. I have selected them because they help me choose my graphic card. And you can see that our password is cracked. Now you need to go back into the hashcat folder directory and open crack.txt file. And you can see that our password is available. I hope you enjoyed this lecture and see you in the next lecture.